In this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade to the Boost Auto Parts 2019 style GM tow mirrors for your 2019 GM 1500 trucks. Whether you're upgrading your Chevy Silverado or GMC Sierra, these Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors will let your truck stand out from the crowd. Upgrade to premium features such as power fold and forward facing spotlight even if your truck did not originally have these features. Upper and lower defrost, customizable marker lights and so much more. Please note that this install procedure is only applicable to 2019 GM trucks that did not originally have power fold or spotlight. If your truck is a different year range or if you're not adding power fold or spotlight to a truck not originally equipped, please reference a separate Boost Auto Parts video. To check fitment, availability, and to purchase our products, go to BoostAutoParts.com. Up next, the installation. Your Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors kit comes with two GM tow mirrors, two wireless modules, three wireless harnesses, and all other supplementary items. In this video, we've also used the RZY harness kit and the modified door harness kit to enable lighting features such as running light, turn signal, and cargo light. Both these products can be found at BoostAutoParts.com. To begin, roll down your windows. Then disconnect the negative battery terminal under the hood and move to the driver's side. To begin door panel removal, first remove this trim panel behind the door handle. Remove the 7mm bolt underneath. Then pull back on the door grab trim panel. Remove the two 7mm bolts on the door grab. Finally, remove the two bolts at the bottom of the door panel. Then, with the help of a trim tool, pry out on the door panel. Pay close attention to the door lock tab in the process so you don't damage it. Go ahead and disconnect the door release cable. Then pry to release this plastic tab. And remove the door connector by pulling down on the red tab, followed by pulling up on the gray tab. This will allow you to swing open the gray latch, which frees up the connector to be disconnected. You can now move the door panel out of the way and set it aside. Repeat the steps on the passenger side. To replace the mirrors, first remove the grommet, then disconnect the mirror connector by first pulling on the red tab. Then press down on the black tab to pull the connector out. Remove the four 13mm nuts that's holding the mirror in place. Be sure to support the mirror from the other side. Fully remove your factory small mirrors from the truck. Next, unbox your Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors. Guide your brand new Boost Auto Parts tow mirror onto the mount, making sure not to pinch any wires in the process. Supporting the mirror from the other side, install the four 13mm nuts to secure the mirror in place. Repeat the steps on the passenger side. Now we'll install the RZY harness to enable some of the lighting features on your mirror. To begin, locate the door jam boot. Use a flathead screwdriver to press down on the latch to release the boot. On the connector, pull back on the red locking tab. Then pry up on the white locking tab to release the connector. Swing down the white latch to fully disconnect the door side connector. By the driver's side seat, remove these two trim panels. Then back in the door jam, disconnect the cab side connector by squeezing close the two plastic tabs. Find the harness inside of the cab and pull it out so you have plenty of room to work on it. Next, bring your RZY harness from your kit to the work area. There's a clear driver's side and passenger side to this harness. It can be routed behind the center console and out of the way. The driver's side of the harness has the additional quick disconnects as shown here. On the door jam connector, locate the white pin lock and carefully pry up on it to allow additional pins to be inserted. With the white lock pointing up and looking at the rear of the connector, your pins must go into its slot with the grooves to the left. 
as shown here. It's very important that the pins are inserted in the correct orientation. Here's a breakdown of the wiring for the RZY harness. You may print out a screenshot to help with the install. If any of these slots are pre-populated on the door jam connector, you won't use that wire from our kit. You can simply tape it up and out of the way. We also filmed the pin locations on a bench to clearly show where each pin goes. Insert the red and blue wire into slot 22. Use a pick tool to secure it in place. Insert the white wire into slot 4. Finally, Insert the blue wire into slot 42. Slot 42 on this truck is already occupied. If any of the slots are already occupied on your truck, cut the pin off the wire from your harness and tape it out of the way. Press the pin lock in to secure the harness on the connector. Then, guide the door jam connector back in place in the correct orientation. With the driver side pins done, take the passenger side pins to a straight metal rod and guide it over to the passenger side. Guide the harness behind the center console. For the passenger side door jam connector, repeat all the steps shown on the driver side until the connector is inside the cab. Pay close attention to the wiring as it's different on the passenger side. Go ahead and pry up on the white lock, then with the grooves on the pin facing left, insert the red and green wire into slot 22. Insert the white wire into slot 4. Finally, insert the blue wire into slot 39. Engage the white lock and guide the connector back to its original position. Secure the harness out of the way of any pedals and tuck any excess wiring under the carpet. For both the driver and passenger side, install the two trim pieces by the door. Then, under the dash on the driver's side, locate the BCM, or body control module, and remove the gray, black, blue, and brown connectors. First, on the black connector, tap to slot 3 using a red T-tap from your kit. Slot 3 is on the first row in the third position from the left. Connect the red and green wire from the RZY harness to the T-tap on the black connector. Next, on the brown connector, tap to slot 2 using another red T-tap. Slot 2 is on the first row in the second position from the left. Connect the red and blue wire from the RZY harness to the T-tap at slot 2 of the brown connector. On the same connector, tap to slot 22. This is in the bottom row in the second position from the left. Next, bring your relay harness from the RZY kit to your work area. Connect the black wire from the relay to the T-tap at slot 22 of the brown connector. Then, on the blue connector, tap to slot 1. Slot 1 is at the top left of the connector. Connect the red wire from the relay to the T-tap on the blue connector. Then, connect the blue wire from the RZY harness to the blue wire on the relay. If your vehicle is equipped with bed illumination lights, please continue watching this video. If you did not have bed illumination lights originally, you would have received a supplemental harness, part number 5846CH. The video link for the installation of that harness can be found on the product packaging. Please watch that video to complete this section of the install. On the gray connector, tap to slot 4. Slot 4 is on the second row on the far left. Connect the white wire from the RZY harness to the T-tap on the gray connector. Go ahead and install all the connectors back to the body control module. Now we'll install the modified door harness to enable some of the lighting features on your tow mirrors. Begin by removing the 7mm bolt on the speaker. Then guide the speaker out. Go ahead and disconnect the plastic tab, then disconnect the speaker connector by releasing the red tab. Then pressing down on the black tab, pull the connector out. Disconnect these two gray clips on the door. They have tabs that need to be depressed first before guiding the clip in. Guide the mirror connector down. 
After this, guide the door jam connector through the door and out the speaker hole. Pry out the plastic clip on the door connector, then push the grommet into the door cavity. Disconnect the black tabs on this harness by pulling on them from inside the door cavity. We performed this next section of the install on a bench to show very clearly how the Modify harness connects to the vehicle. The time lapse of these steps on the vehicle is also provided to show broadly what the steps look like in context. Please note that the steps for the passenger side are identical to the driver's side with the exception of pin locations. On the driver's side, insert the pins from the modified harness onto the door jam connector. For all applications with the white block pointing up, the grooves on the pins must face right. Please reference the diagram on the screen to find slot locations. Locate the white pin lock and carefully pry up on it to allow additional pins to be inserted. Depress the pin on the red and blue wire to slot 22. Use a pick to fully engage the pin. The white wire will go to slot 4. And the blue wire will go to slot 42. Pin locations are different on passenger side. The red and blue wire will go to pin 22. The white wire will go to pin 4. And the blue wire will go to pin 39. Press the pin lock in to secure the harness on the connector. Guide the modify harness to the mirror connector. Use a straight metal rod to pass it through the door jam boot. With the modify harness out the other end of the boot, you can secure all the wires at the connector using electrical tape and zip tie. Guide the harness all the way to the mirror connector, taping it up as you go. Be sure to tape the harness on the opposite side of the plastic clips, so they don't get pinched when the clips are engaged. At the mirror connector, note that there are different wiring configurations depending on what features were available to your truck from factory. To our advantage, the wiring is the same on both driver's side and passenger side. On the mirror connector, use a flathead screwdriver to pry on the white locking tab to allow additional pins to be inserted. Insert the pin of the red and blue wire to slot 8 with the grooves of the pin facing down. With the red locking tab on top, slot 8 is on the second row from the top in the second spot from the left. Connect the white wire to slot 16. This is on the bottom row, fourth from the left. Finally, if slot 13 is empty, insert the blue wire here. Slot 13 is at the bottom left of the connector. With the blue wire inserted, you can skip ahead to the next section where we take the wires back to the mirror connector. However, if there is a wire already present in slot 13, cut the wire approximately 2 inches from the pin and remove some of the insulation on the connector end of the wire. Cut the blue wire on the modify harness back approximately 2 inches from the pin and set the pin end to the side. Strip some of the insulation from the other end, then connect the blue wire to the existing wire at slot 13 using the provided butt connector from your kit. Next, locate slot 5. Your next steps are going to vary depending on if there's a wire present or not. If slot 5 is empty, insert the pin that was previously cut from the blue wire of the modify harness here and strip back some of the insulation. Connect this to the wire that was originally at pin 13 using the provided butt connector in your kit. You may 
may, however, have slot 5 already occupied. In this case, cut back about 2 inches from the pin, strip back some of the insulation, and connect the wire that was previously at 13 here using a butt connector. Tape the other end of the wire that was at pin 5 out of the way. Tape all the wires to the mirror connector, then guide the remainder of the modify harness under the insulation by the connector. Re-engage the connector lock. Once the installation of the modify harness is complete, guide the door connector harness in place. Make sure to secure the grommet. Engage the black clips. Then guide the mirror connector up through the door cavity and connect it to the mirror. Don't forget to engage the gray clips connected to the mirror harness. Finally, guide the door jam connector to its original position. With that done, reconnect the speaker and secure it in place using the 7mm bolt. Reconnect the door jam connector by guiding the door side harness to the cab side connector. With the connector in position, slide the white latch up, pressing the red tab, then with the bottom of the grommet slid in, slide the tab at the top of the grommet in place, completely sealing the connection. Install the wireless modules to enable feature upgrades such as power fold and spotlight. Your kit comes with two wireless modules and three wireless harnesses. On the driver's side, first cut an opening through the grommet by the mirror connector to allow the mirror harness to pass. Go ahead and pass the harness and fully install the grommet. Bring the wireless harness with the two white connectors and connect the harness to the mirror. Then take the harness with the two small black connectors up to the mirror. If you're going from manual fold mirrors to power fold mirrors, and are also going from no factory spotlight to a spotlight upgrade, connect the blue and yellow wires from the mirror to the blue and yellow wires on the wireless harness. Then connect the pink wire from the mirror to the orange wires on the harness. If you're going from manual fold mirrors to power fold mirrors but not adding spotlight to a vehicle not originally equipped, connect the blue and yellow wires from the mirror to the blue and yellow wires to the wireless harness and you can disregard the connector with the orange wires and tape it out of the way. On the other end of the wireless harness, you'll find two disconnects. These will connect on the door connector. To access the wires at the door connector, release the tabs further from the harness first, as shown here. Then, cut off the zip tie to fully release the cover. Here, we're looking at the connector with the blue locking tab pointing down. Tap to the wire at pin 17 using a red T-tap from your kit. With the blue lock at the bottom, pin 17 is on the second to the last row, 5 over from the left. Next, tap to the wire at pin 30. Pin 30 is on the second to the last row, 7 over from the right. Next, connect the black wire from the wireless harness to the T-tap at pin 30, and the red wire to the T-tap at pin 17. The procedure up to this point is the same on the passenger side. However, tap locations are different, so here's a breakdown of tap locations on the passenger side. Please note that the passenger side only has one harness compared to the driver side, which has two. Tap to pin 10 using a blue T-tap from your kit. With a blue lock at the bottom, pin 10 is on the top row, third from the right. Similarly, tap to pin 3 that's located on the top row in the third slot from the left. Use a blue T-tap from your kit. Connect the red wire from your wireless harness to the T-tap at slot 3 and the black wire to slot 10. The remainder of the procedure is the same on the driver's side and the passenger side. Back on the driver's side, the plastic cover can be installed on the connector again. Insert the tabs further from the harness first, then zip tie the wires to the plastic casing. On the door panel, find a location where you can securely tie up the wireless module. You may secure it in the same position as this video, or find your own. Tie up any excess harness from the wireless kit. 
With that done, bring the door panel back to the door and connect the harnesses to the wireless module. Note that on the passenger side, the wireless module will only have one connector slot. To assemble the door panel, first connect the door connector. Then connect the door release cable. Pay close attention to the door lock tab as you drop the door panel back in place. Engage the tabs on the door panel. Then install the five 7mm bolts and the two trim panels. Repeat the steps on the passenger side. Finally, with all the steps completed, reconnect the battery. This next video segment describes further how to use your wireless features. To begin, start by activating the modules. Do this by pressing the left mirror adjust selector. Then use the left left right right button sequence on the arrow pad to activate the modules. Once you hear two fast beeps, the modules are activated. While the modules are activated, the mirror glass will not adjust. Once the modules are activated, you may power fold the mirrors. Tap the up arrow to fold the mirrors out, or tap the down arrow to fold the mirrors in. You may see the passenger side mirror start folding slightly after the driver's side due to the modules communicating from side to side. While the modules are activated, you can enable the spotlights by tapping the right arrow. Once activated, your spotlights will remain on for 20 minutes unless manually deactivated. To turn the spotlights off, first activate the modules, then tap the right arrow. To deactivate the modules, you have two options. The first option would be to let the modules time out. If there is no activity for 10 seconds, the modules will automatically deactivate. You can also deactivate the modules manually by using the left left right right button sequence on the arrow pad. You'll hear three fast beeps once the modules are deactivated. Once the modules are deactivated, any left hand mirror adjustment will be slightly delayed to prevent erratic module activation. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Boost Auto Parts 2019 style GM tow mirrors can be purchased on our website at boostautoparts.com. Boost Auto Parts also offers a wide range of parts and accessories for your truck or SUV. To stay up to date on new product releases and more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all for now. Catch you in the next one.